This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. If you guys are searching for an amazing all-in-one type full HD HDMI supported 1920 by 1080 portable monitor that can be used with Raspberry Pi, DSLR cameras, dish antenna receivers, laptops, CPUs, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, Windows, FPV drones, cars and robots as it supports OSD and so on then you need this 13.3 inch full HD IPS monitor from the Sun Founder. I will also test this monitor with my 3S LiPo battery and 4S lithium ion battery packs. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing. If you want to use this monitor with Raspberry Pi first, you will need to adjust the resolution. Otherwise, you may encounter an incomplete display with plague spaces around. So it's like a guide explaining how to make changes in the config.txt file. Inside this box we have this AC to DC adopter with all the specs clearly printed. This adopter outputs 12 volts DC and can supply 3000 milliamps. Instead of using this adopter you can also use a power bank, a 12 volt battery and you can also use a lipo battery or lithium ion battery pack. I will practically demonstrate this in a minute. We have also got this foldable stand which I think is made of steel and is coated with a non-slip rubber type material. It also protects it from rusting. This is extremely easy to use. Simply loosen the screws. Unfold the stand. Set the desired angle. And tie the screws. Inside this box we have also got these four different types of cables. Regular size HDMI cable, micro HDMI to HDMI cable, USB A to USB C cable and a USB C to USB C cable. Ladies and gentlemen presenting to you the lightweight 550 grams 13.3 inch full HD HDMI 1920 by 1080p portable IPS monitor display compatible with Raspberry Pi. PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Windows and all other HDMI supported devices. This Sun Founder 13.3 inch monitor which is so lightweight that you can carry it or move it outside easily. It also allows being powered with a portable battery when you are outside. As a professional IPS monitor it is made with a mature technology that is capable of outstanding performance in showing the HD picture. That would be the best choice to use it as a gaming monitor. In addition, it's perfect for a portable Raspberry Pi system. A power bank can drive this monitor. The key features are it's a 13.3 inch full HD IPS monitor with 1920 by 1080 resolution, supports key operation, has a wide visual angle, fast response speed and accurate color rendition. It can also be used with other models of Raspberry Pi including 4 Model B, 3 Model B or B+, 2 Model B and Model B+. It's only 15mm thin. This can be a best portable gaming monitor for travel and business occasion. On the right side we have got this DC 12V power jack, USB 5V in or 5V output, HDMI 1, HDMI 2 and earphone jack. When it comes to the power consumption, it's only 10 watt. It has got two speakers on the big side. The display color is 262K. The interface type is digital. Response time is only 5 milliseconds. The working temperature is from minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 80 degrees Celsius. 
fogging voltages from 5 volts to 12 volts DC. It supports 50 Hz and 60 Hz if you need 120 Hz and 144 Hz professional gaming monitors, it cannot meet the requirements. It supports multi-function OSD operations and multi OSD languages. The viewing angle is 178 degrees which is pretty amazing. On the top side we have got buttons for the power, source, menu, volume plus and volume minus. On the bottom side it also has an 1x4 inch 20 female tripod mount for those who want to use it with a tripod or any male 1x4 inch 20 screw mount. If you want to know more about this monitor you can visit the Sun Founder official product page. I will provide a link in the description. Now I'm going to use this monitor as a second display with my laptop but first I'm going to peel off the screen protector. Connect monitor to the laptop using HDMI cable. Connect the power supply. Press the power button to turn on the monitor. Works right out of the box, I didn't have to do any settings. I'm going to play a video. We can increase and decrease the volume using volume plus and volume minus buttons. Click on the menu button and to scroll through the menu items click on the volume plus and volume minus. Once you select the desired menu item then click on the menu button which also works as the end key. Again you can use the volume buttons to scroll through the items. Let's say I want to control the brightness so I will simply select the brightness and then using the volume buttons I can increase or decrease the brightness. Once the desired brightness is selected then you can click on the source button to deselect the item. You can also do settings for the OSD. I will explain this in one of my future videos when I will be using this monitor with my FPV drone. So I'm sure now you know about these different buttons and how to use them. Next I'm going to check if I can power up this 13.3 inch full HD 1920 by 1080 IPS monitor using my 3S LiPo battery pack and 4S lithium ion battery pack. So let's first start with the 3S LiPo battery. This is simply amazing. Now let's go ahead and test it with my 4S lithium ion battery pack. This is outstanding. I'm lithium ion battery lover. I can use my lithium ion battery pack to power up the monitor and then using 5 volts output from the monitor I can power up my Raspberry Pi 4 and this way I can build myself a completely portable computer and gaming PC. If you want to make the same 4S lithium ion battery pack then you can watch my video. I will provide a link in the description. The Sun founder claims that this 13.3 inch full HD IPS monitor is a gaming screen. To verify this, next I'm going to play a game.
The overall gaming experience on this monitor is simply amazing. Very soon, I will test it with Xbox 360 and PS4 as well. Next, I'm going to use this monitor with my dish antenna receiver. So I'm going to connect the HDMI cable. Next, I'm going to plug in my USB flash drive. I'm not going to play any channel due to the copyright issues, but I will play the sponsorship video clip from the flash drive. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs, links to the Ultium designer. Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I'm also planning to use this monitor with my Nikon DSLR camera. Right now, I don't have the correct size HDMI adapter. And once I get the HDMI adapter, then I will share with you the test results. Personally, I really like this monitor is I can use it for watching videos. I can use it with Raspberry Pi. I can use it with my DSLR camera. I can use it with my FPV drones and cars and so on. What do you think about this 13.3 inch portable full HD HDMI 1920 by 1080 IPS monitor? Let me know in a comment. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.